Oh no. <laughs> It wasn't worth it. Why, Travis Scott, why? Hey, what's up everybody, Nick here, and you may recognize me from one of my videos, The Big Mac Mile. That video with over 700,000 views is one of my best, but I swore after that I would never eat McDonald's again. That is until I heard about the Travis Scott meal. All right, now for those of you who have been living under a rock, this is the latest offering from McDonald's. It's called the Travis Scott meal, which consists of a quarter pounder with cheese, lettuce, and bacon. Comes with medium fries with barbecue sauce, and to wash it all down, you get a medium Sprite with extra ice. It's lit, and when I saw this, I thought, well, that's a cute little meal, but now what if you added four laps of the track to go with it? I'm calling it the Travis Scott Meal Mile Challenge. One item plus one lap times four, no throwing up or it's immediate disqualification. Oh, it just sounds so good. I'm hungry. Let's go load up. All right, now this wouldn't be much of a challenge without competition, so I recruited young Nathaniel here. You may recognize him from one of my previous videos, the Croc 400. We hired him recently to help us move these, the five count variety sold exclusively at Walmart. And we're selling so many that he's working for us full time, shipping thousands of these a week. We're out here in Florence, Oregon, and we are going to do the Travis Scott mile challenge. You ready? I'm starving. Oh, this is gonna hurt so bad. <laughs> Are you here for the Travis Scott meal too? Oh, okay. She's not. Oh my God, there it is. Hey. Hello, can I do free time? You know why we're here. This is it. Cactus Jack sent me. Do you want a Travis Scott meal? Yeah. <laughs> Three Travis Scott meals, please. All right, love y'all. That'll do it. How about that long, awkward pause? <laughs> <laughs> Your order was actually paid for by the person in front of you. Woo! <laughs> we love you! Have a good day. Thanks. That's, That's awesome! awesome. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love Oregonians. Love it. Hey there, how are you? Good. Three Travis Scott meals? Thanks very much. Let's do this. Fast Man, food. it smells so good, I almost ate one of the fries. Patient. You can eat one of mine, feel free. There's four elements here, and there's four laps in a mile. So you consume one, run a lap, that's a mile. Now here's the twist. You don't have any order that you have to eat these in. So you could start with the barbecue sauce or the burger, finish with the drink, whatever you want. Now I know my strategy, do you know yours? I'm already second guessing it, I don't know. <laughs> We've been debating this all day. Let me know in the comments below what strategy you guys would do. Let me introduce you to today's competitors. Let's line it up. <laughs> I'm nervous, man. I'm so nervous. Wait, 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 wait. We can't start the race until the people smash the like button. The like button. You guys gotta smash it. Come on. And bang. boom, and they're off. All right, now what is each athlete gonna choose for their first? Oh, we've almost got a drink spill. And it looks like Nate's no, going for on. the sauce, and I am going to swing for the fences. I'm leading with the burger. Now, Nate, he downs that sauce in just eight seconds, and he's off. I'm watching him, I'm thinking to myself, is there any way I can finish this burger before he gets around the track? Nate is a very talented runner. You did see him in the Croc 400, throwing down in a pair of Crocs, sub 60 second quarters. Let's see what he runs his first lap in. He's out in 27 seconds for the first sauce plus 100 meters, and I'm just struggling with this burger. I swung for the fences on this one, you guys. There he is, almost 200 meters away from me, and I only have half the burger finished. Oh man, maybe this was a massive mistake choosing the burger first, but having done the Big Mac mile, I know that the burger is maybe the hardest thing to get down, and I have to lead with it. Uh, but in the back of my mind, I think I may have made a bad mistake. He, he's just laughing because he's only got a tiny shot of barbecue sauce in his stomach. 
Again, as I see him coming down the home stretch, I think to myself, finish this burger before he gets there. I mean, this is embarrassing. Stick. I'm getting my butt kicked. Stick. Tag, tag, give me that stick like it's a four by four. He runs his first lap in 76 seconds and I still haven't even finished the burger. Oh God. Oh my God. Sprite was choice. <clears throat> and he's chosen the Sprite for his second item. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to really start going here. Uh, guys, I'm embarrassed. Uh, I think, you know, if you've saw, followed my professional running career, you know I'm a sit and kicker. There I am finally with a minute and 48 seconds for the burger, sub two for the burger is not bad, and I'm off. I have to rely on the fact that I am the superior runner. Nate Sprite goes down in 34 seconds and he's chasing me. And I can tell you what guys, I'm looking over my shoulder here. He's, I don't even have a hundred meters on him. Now what I had envisioned myself doing was getting the burger down and the fries down before I moved on to what I would consider the easier items, the Sprite and the barbecue sauce. Now I don't know about Nate, but I know about myself. And during this whole challenge, I keep second guessing my strategy. Was it the right thing to do to lead with the burger? You know, should I have led with something easier like the barbecue sauce or Sprite? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think is the optimal strategy. Which items would you choose first, second, third, and fourth? Ow! <laughs> Burger number one was a bad choice. I wasn't gonna do this, but I gotta play catch up, I feel like. I'm gonna go barbecue sauce. Oh my God. I'm gonna shoot this so fast that I can get back on the track. Oh, it hurts. It hurts watching this. <laughs> It's like the worst shot you've ever done. Oh God. I only took nine seconds during that transition and I'm back running again. I, if he goes for burger or fries, I well, he has to, right? They're the only two left. But when he goes for the burger or the fries, I know it's gonna take him a while. Let's see what he chooses. And it is the burger. He's going for the burger. And now I have an opportunity to possibly catch him. He starts on that burger. He's struggling, he's struggling on the first bite. Maybe, just maybe, leading with the burger is actually going to come back to help me. Now, those of you who have followed my career know that I don't always eat and run. In fact, for 12 years, I ran professionally. My personal best in the mile of three minutes and 56 seconds is a sub four minute mile. If you are an aspiring young runner out there and you wanna be a faster runner, you can actually download my free ebook, How to Be a Better Runner. I'll link that in the description below. Guys, we're, we're really going here. I mean, I'm, I'm running you know about five minute mile pace here. And as you get to the transition zone, it's so hard just to stop breathing, you know, or, or slow your breathing down. You're breathing so hard, you feel like you're gonna choke on this food. That's why I really, really suggest you do not try this at home. Now here, I'm caught up to him. He is half a burger ahead of me, but I can go for the Sprite, you guys. <sighs> My plan was to want this Sprite because I was so thirsty. I'm actually craving the Sprite. It's something that I want to choke down right now. Uh, and if you have watched the McDonald's commercial, you know that Travis Scott likes his with extra ice. Oh God, Ugh. the burger's tough. So of course we got the extra ice. I've only got about half a cup worth of Sprite to drink. Nathaniel is over there choking on a burger. Uh, and I have a feeling that I'm actually gonna be able to pass him, which is blowing my mind. Here we are at five minutes. And after the first lap, I thought there was no way I could catch him, but here I am not only catching him, I'm about to pass him. If I can keep the food down, because if you throw up, it's an automatic disqualification. Everyone knows that when you're running a Travis Scott one mile. You throw up, you're disqualified. Simmons out. Last sip here, three, two, one. And go, a Sprite in under 60 seconds. Ah, brain freeze. I'm running, I feel good, you guys. I actually feel relatively good, uh, but in the back of my mind, I know that I've left the fries for last, but fortunately, so has Nate. 220 for the burger, you can see there, I got him by almost 30 seconds on the burger, but I only have a 50 yard lead, and I don't know if that's gonna be enough. He's obviously the superior eater. I'm obviously the superior runner. It may come down to the final item, the fries. I don't have any Sprite to wash these fries down. This is gonna be a really hard last item and last lap. All right, those of you who have been subscribed to this channel for a while, you know I come out with a new video every single week. It's always fun, it's always fitness themed. I call it fun with fitness. And if this is the kind of stuff you like, make sure you smash that subscribe button and please DM me over on Instagram. What kind of challenges would you like to see next week? Ah, uh, it hurts, it hurts, <laughs> not the fries.
Uh, 126 for me on lap three, coming up on seven minutes total, and I'm digging into the fries. And here's Nathaniel, just 10 or 15 seconds behind me. 703, 704, 124 for him, a phenomenal lap. He actually ran faster than me by a second for lap three. And now we're just trying to plow through these fries. I've got the one at a time uh, strategy. And you'll see Nathaniel here is about to go for the Joey Chestnut strategy. Lots of respect for that. He's definitely making up ground on me with these fries. And I know that with my sit and kick strategy, with my ability to come off that last 100 meters and kick for the finish line, I just have to stay close as we choke down these fries. I'm rethinking all my I'm taking extra Sprite just to have it with the fries. <laughs> That's the room I no, need. No, no. It's like, it's so dry, it's so scratchy, it's so salty. You gotta pick that fry up. That's an immediate disqualification. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is uh, this is an, an, an exercise in stupidity. Please do not try this at home. As we finish up the last fries, I go with the rabbit technique and I can think to myself, 400 meters left, that's all I've got to get through. It's just a quarter mile. I, I, my personal best in the 400 is 47.4 seconds. I'm probably not gonna come anywhere near that, but I think if I can run a 60 second last lap or close to it, I probably have a good chance to win this. Nate's choking down the last of his fries. Joey Chestnut over here. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> I can see that he's about to take off. He's, he's only got a couple fries left. And <laughs> as he starts, as he starts to dry heave on the final fries, I, I almost lose it. Um, and there he is with his empty fry box blowing in the wind. He's about to take off. At 9.52, he takes two minutes and 48 seconds to eat the fries and he's off. And I think to myself, I can maybe, maybe spot him 50 meters. But if there's anything more than that, I don't think I can catch him. My fries in three minutes and five seconds and I'm off. And if we look over the shoulder, he's got exactly 50 meters on me, you guys. Do I have what it takes to reel him in? In the back of my mind, it's all about the pride at this point. Everything hurts, of course it hurts, but you have to dig deep on the final lap. Coming down with 300 meters to go, I am clearly making up ground on him. Look at this great drone shot. Shout out to Ryan, the videographer, for going with the epic drone shot. I'm reeling him in, you guys. 200 meters to go. He's got about 30 meters on me at this point, but I am closing so fast. My thought process is, if I can get up on his shoulder with 50 meters to go, there's no way I lose this thing. He's looking over his shoulder, he's running scared. Guys, this is crazy. I think I can get him. 100 meters to go. I've got two, three seconds to make up. I'm reeling him in. I am gonna get up on his shoulder. I'm gonna out lean him, you guys. 54, 10, 55, 10, 56. Bison coming fast, and it's gonna be a lean at the line. Oh my gosh, he got me 11 minutes and two seconds for both of us. But I closed in 61 seconds, but it wasn't enough. Oh no, it wasn't worth it. Why, Travis Scott, why? Oh my God, that hurt. That's the difference of like a single fry. <laughs> It's like a weird mix of my legs being dead and my stomach yeah. weighing me down. Now, for those of you who pay extra attention, you may have heard me order three Travis Scott meals. The extra one here is for my homie Ryan. Say what's up, Ryan. Always getting it done on the other side of the camera. Shout out to Ryan Ewart. Now, you need to eat all that and I want to see a mile. All right, here we go. Guys, let's keep Ryan and Nathaniel employed. Go to your local Walmart. Oh, he's off. Go to your local Walmart and buy one of the Run Gum five count variety packs. It does include our newest flavor, Tropical Boost. Perfect when you're doing something like this to get you amped up. It's at an always low price in the sporting goods aisle of your local Walmart. See you next week. Straight up.